How's it going everyone? It is Andre Williams from TradeYourLevels.com. So what we're going to be doing today, we're going to be taking a look at some trade opportunities for Apple, Triple Q, and as well as for SPY. Please be aware we have CPI numbers that are going to be coming out tomorrow, which is July the 12th, inside of the pre-market. So we could have a gap up, we could have a gap down, so it's going to be even more important that you know your levels. So let's start off with Apple. So let's take a look at the stats for today. So the low of the day was at 186.60, and then the high of the day was at 189.30. So as far as demand is concerned, where are the buyers hanging out? So I'm looking at that low of the day between 186 and 187. This is an area where buyers have been showing up. We also did notice this on Monday. So taking that into consideration, if we end up having, let's say, like a dip and rip and we're within these areas, I'm going to be watching it for calls. It makes sense. Now, Let's say, for example, we decide to gap up because of those CPI numbers. We know that we have a lot of sellers hanging out between 189 and 190, as you can see from this graded shade area. That's where we have a move where, you know, we get to that price point and then we have strong selling pressure that brings us down to the next level. So if we're able to actually gap up and we're holding around this area, then we have the potential where Apple can make a move up further and it has a gap to fill at 190.88. If it's able to fill this gap and see more momentum, we could see a move going to around 192 and a half for the next level. So these are some areas that you want to watch, especially if you're thinking to go long. As far as for the bear case is concerned, I don't like Apple below 186 in my personal opinion. I feel if it goes below 186, it can break down further and then we can start seeing levels at around 185. So that's just something to think about as far as if you want to set up a stop loss and so on upon getting that confirmation to enter call. Now let's take a look at the triple Q chart real quick. So as we take a look at triple Q, what are the stats on the day? So the low of the day was at 364.62 and then the high of the day being at 368.63. The market had a pretty strong run up towards the end of the day. So just something to keep in consideration going for tomorrow. So with that said, as far as where are the buyers stepping up on triple Q, what we notice right away is between 364 and 365, like I pointed out in its blue shaded area. Buyers have been coming in, and that's where we have the strong moves to the upside. So we saw this last week, Monday. We also did see this last week, Thursday, and we have been seeing it since the beginning of the week, as you can see here for Monday. And we also bounce out of this 364, 365 area, as well as for today. So with that in consideration, if those CPI numbers come out, and Triple Q decides to gap up, where are the sellers hanging out? So we know that we have sellers hanging out right at this psychological area. It's a whole number right at 370, right? So if we gap up, I want to see if we can hold between 368 and 369. That will be very, very important for Triple Q. But if we have a dip and rip scenario, I'd want to see us post in a higher low than what we had today. So what would that look like? Could we hold between 365 and 366? I think that's going to be a key pivot area to watch if we decide to pull back a bit. Now, if we decide to actually have that gap up and we have further momentum, if we could break above that 370 area, which we know there's a lot of sellers, then the next area to be watching very closely is around 371 and a half. If we could break 371 and a half, we can make that move to 373 and 375 could potentially be on the table as well. Again, I'm not saying these are the levels that we're going to hit for tomorrow, but it's just something to be aware of if we're able to break through those levels like I mentioned. As far as for the bear case scenario, remember what I said. We have demand in this area between this 364 and 365, but... If we decide to fall below 364, which we have done, especially on Monday, we got down to 363 and a half, then falling below 363 and a half, that is not bullish by any means. What that means, we can come all the way down here to 361 to 362. And if you bought calls near 364, 365, 
That's just something that you want to be fully aware of. You want to know what is the downside risk looking like. So I'm very bearish on Triple Q if it's deciding to show weakness below 364. But aside from that, if you could hold on to those key levels, like I mentioned, we could see a strong move to the upside. Now let's take a look at SPY. Let's see what SPY is saying. All right, so as we take a look at SPY, let's take a look at the stats. So we have the low of the day on SPY being at 439.44, and then we have the high of the day being at 442.97. Just like Triple Q had a strong run up going into the close. It was actually pretty sweet, I must say. A lot of buying that was coming in. But aside from that, where do we have our demand? So what we can see here right away, very similar to the Triple Q chart, we have buyers that were stepping in between this 437 and as well this 438 and a half area. I talked about this also on my Instagram. If you're not following me already, you should be. It's at Andre Invest. So aside from that, what I want to look for for tomorrow, let's say, for example, we have a gap down or maybe we have the pullback or the dip and rip that I've been talking about. I'd want to see us hold up this psychological area at 440. I think 440 is going to be a very, very important area. So if we're holding between 440 or even going as low as 439, hey, there could be an opportunity to buy some calls and ride that momentum up. Again, this is a dip and rip scenario. It is very important that we are able to have a higher low than the previous day. That shows us a bullish sign. And since the low of the day on SPY is at 439.44, if we're holding between 440 and 441, that is definitely a sign of strength. And that's an area that you want to watch. I know I sound like a broken record when I say this, but you want to make sure you have some sort of a game plan. Now, where are the sellers hanging out? So we got rejected today at 442.97. So right away, when we take a look at what has happened previously in the past, we've gotten rejected at 442.60s, and we've gotten rejected last week Thursday at 443. So we know there's a lot of sellers hanging out between 443 and as well as the top right up here around 444. So add that to your notes. This is very, very important. So let's say if we have the gap up. If we're holding between 442 or even 441, that is definitely a good sign. That's where I could say, well, you know what? We can make that move up and we could easily test right here around 444. That is very, very doable for SPY. So when I was taking a look at the daily chart, I was looking at what is the next level. We're talking about 448 and as well as 450. Of course, 445 would be a psychological area. So if we get that break above 445, that is definitely bullish. And then 448 could definitely happen sometime this week. It could happen on the Thursday or the Friday. But again, I would not be game planning for a move like this. We need to look at what do we have as far as for the levels right now. And that's that 443 to 444. Gap up, we want to see strength. We want to see the break above that. Break 445, then we can start talking about 448. And if it happens tomorrow, at least you could be prepared for it. So as far as for the bear case scenario on SPY, again, it has to come below 437. But we do have buyers that have come in at this 436 area. So if I'm going to be playing puts on SPY, I'd want to see a break below 436 and a half. So if we break below 436 and a half, that's where we can start seeing some moves coming down to 434 to 435. So those are some areas that I'll be adding to your notes. But in the meantime, again, just stay focused on watching to see if SPY can stay above the low of the day that it posted today at 439.44. And look out for another video that's going to be coming out as well. I'll be talking to you guys real soon. And if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe.